Wow! What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with episode number five of Ask Brand Man, where I answer questions that you ask in the comment section below. So make sure you keep those questions coming. Just remember the golden rule that the quality of the answers that you receive are determined by the qualities of the questions that you ask. So these episodes are every Wednesday, and this one's going to be very, very, very focused on ads because we got a lot of ads questions lately. It's the mat work. So, number one, I want to get into it. Fade Records Entertainment said, Hey, brand man, I run conversion ads. I feel like my voice cracked a little bit. Hey, brand man. Hey, brand man, I run conversion ads, but I also want to ask, are video view ads good if I want to promote a music video or Facebook? Or will or will post engagement ads help more? Let me try to bring this question in. I, I think I know what he's asking, but we got to start with the breakdown. Something I think everybody takes for granted really is the marketing funnel. And I got to tell y'all, it's the sauce for understanding most of this stuff, right? It really is the sauce. It's there for a reason. So let's just start with this marketing funnel. We're not going to get too deep into explaining because I'm assuming y'all, you know, y'all get the idea of what it means right now. But this is for the purpose right now of these type of ads. He said a video view ad. All right. And then an engagement ad he talked about. Engagement. I hope y'all can read that clearly. And then he talks about conversion ads. And let's just say conversion ads are multiple places. And you'll see why it's so much of the funnel when we talk about it soon. Right? But this is really necessary to understand and get when um when understanding and analyzing this, this scenario. So First and foremost, can y'all read that? I think y'all can. All right, my bad. I had to stop for a second and redo this just to make sure it's legible for you guys. But back to this. Remember, this is how to market a video, music video on Facebook specifically. So with that in mind, I'm going to assume that you're not even trying to market it on Facebook and then get people to click over and watch it again on YouTube or get people to necessarily click over to go into another platform. And with that in mind, this is the context because the, the funnel, right? The top of the funnel is all about awareness, people learning about your brand, being exposed to you, your content, right? That's the learning phase. Every phase after that, that's why I only cut it into two right now. Every phase after that is about trying to drive them specifically to a place from that place that they originally got exposed to you, right? Now, that's when the conversion ad comes in. So if you're running a con conversion ad top of funnel and there's no back end, it's not going to make sense. So let me explain. Right now, the video view ad. Right. We know that that's to get people to watch the mo mo most of your video or they're going to target people who are most likely to watch more of your video engagement ads. They're going to target people who are more likely to like, comment and share your video, which leads to a pretty dope way of thinking about virality, but we'll get into that in a second. It's a big hack. Make sure you wait on that. Um, that's what these things are for though, right? Like comments and shares and, and actual video views. That's what it says. Engage video view. Now with that in mind, right? If you're trying to bring attention to your music video, if you're trying to get people to be exposed to it and looking for those people, that's what you need to do. Conversion ads only work in this scenario. If I'm trying to get people over to YouTube, which you're not in, the, in this scenario, right? Or like a Spotify or something, I'll just say DSP. Let me hold this board down. The problem is none of these places allow you to put a pixel over there. And conversion ads need data to then take that data to become smart using artificial intelligence and continue to target people who are more likely to end up in this place, right? So what you, you would have to do, which still isn't most ideal, right, is you would have to run your ad from Facebook. You, you would have to create some kind of link in between and then go over to that, that place over there, whatever that next place is. And the problem still is the best scenario for a conversion ad is not for it to be here, which is you can get some great information by and, and great results by doing it this way. But the most ideal scenario for a conversion ad 
is actually for the data reading to be here. But the problem is once you go to YouTube and once you go to your, your Spotify, where people aren't going to another page where you can pixel them because that's the beauty. So think about typical e-commerce. The way it works is, hey, I go to a page, I buy something, and then after you buy something, it sends you to another page. Then, right, that is the data that people collect to then you run the conversion ad, right? So that's a purchase, right? I made a purchase and now everybody who made a purchase ended up on this last page right here. I can optimize for anybody out here to, that would most likely end up on this page, which is after purchase. That's a beautiful thing, right? But you're optimizing for beforehand. So you're already working. You're working against yourself. There's a handicap, a handicap because you can't handicap. You can't optimize for after them watching your YouTube video or after watching um, or listening to your music on Spotify or something like that. All right. So again, Conversion ads, just running them on Facebook, it unless you're doing it for a specific purpose, it doesn't really make sense. You would really want to do a video view ad, engagement ad, even a traffic ad, but we, I, I wouldn't even suggest that in this scenario. So if you're trying to bring the most attention, I know that's a long-winded answer, uh, but I want to make sure you understand all this and where they're placed and everything, and, and the same for everybody else watching. The video view ad and the engagement ads are going to be the best, point blank. All right, so we'll get into two other things because there's so many questions in regard to um, the Facebook ads. Let's and before I get into question number two, I want to add. You know what? I'll say I'll save that for the end. Just a little little hack that you can use. All right, so next question, Leo T asks. Appreciate the vid. Appreciate you, little, uh, Leo T, for running an ad campaign for driving people to a landing page and then to Spotify. Do you prefer conversion or traffic ads? Also, story or feed placement. Here is the answer. Right. So first, he's talking about this Facebook IG. Bam. Here we go in terms of uh, the landing page, and then you end up on Spotify. A traffic ad right here can make sense. We just talked about this, right? A conversion ad now could make sense here. Well, it does make sense here, all the sense in the world in comparison. So traffic ad is just gonna take in the front end data, bring people here, but you want the conversion in. So you could actually use both. Use the traffic ad to give your conversion ad enough data, right? This is what we do all the time, all right? Use the traffic ad to give the conversion ad enough data, all right? And then you can use a conversion ad right and see the results that come from that you always want to test it yourself but you you aren't going to lead with a conversion ad right conversion ad should you use for specific scenarios specific outcomes and a lot of those outcomes that you might be looking for already need data running a conversion ad before you get data right on the front end you have to be using it for a specific purpose and that's not anything that most people are going through so this, this, this is not worth talking about just just yet but the traffic ad, right, kid could give your your um your landing page enough data. It's that simple. But you also could use a video view ad to get here. You could use an engagement ad to get here. There's multiple scenarios to get there, right? The, but the most important thing is giving this thing enough data before you even think to run it. So don't start here. You have to get wait till you get enough data to get that popping. Now, that's something to keep in mind as well because. What a lot of people don't under well, actually, you asked about story or feed placement. Let me get to that as well. When it comes to story or feed placement, we run both, and both have strong results depending on whatever the, the video is, whatever the campaign is. We run a lot of story ads. We, we see a lot of great results for story ads, particularly when you're trying to have somebody click over. So you're talking about this, this scenario of somebody clicking over. Um, and it's less audience building. Start with story ads. I'm always going to say A-B test the scenario, but the results that we've seen from story ads, when you're talking about clicking over to some kind of in intermediary link before you get to Spotify, that's the one that I would go with if I only had to choose one and didn't get a chance to test. But you have the opportunity to test. So don't do that. Um, now, should you run ads directed to DSBPs, YouTube, then retarget to IG or IG and retarget to DSP slash YouTube. 
<sighs> All right. I want to make sure I understand this. Should you run ads to D directed to DSPs and then re retarget to IG or to your IG and then retarget to DSPs YouTube? I'd say this. You're an artist. The question the, the question is what do you want? I don't even think I, I don't even need the board for this. Right? The question is what do you want? Right? Do you want people to listen to your music or are you trying to build with your brand as a whole? All right? So if you're trying to build more from your brand as a whole, then run people directly to IG, right? But if you're trying to go straight to some music because you release some music, then go straight to the music, right? You can always retarget later because you got the data, you ran your ad correctly. But it doesn't really matter which one or which way you go. It's all dependent on what you're doing at the time. All of this is about what the goal is at the moment. If I just release a song and I'm trying to bring attention to the song, I'm going to bring everybody over to that song. All right. But if I'm just running ads, growth ads in between, I might consider just running to my my page because maybe I'm trying to get my followers and just build out that per, that perception and perspective. And if your page is built out right, there can, it could still be a solid likelihood that people click over to see your music right we see it all the time all right so you could go to your ig and then retarget back to dsps um in youtube later but most people especially if you don't have a lot of money to market right you're running your ads when you have your music out and you're trying to promote some music so just run it straight to dsps and youtube point blank all right now is it better to promote a music video through Facebook ads or Google ads? So Corey did a video about this, right? We're going to put that in the description below. We're going to put that in the top comment for you to watch that. There's no point for me to go a lot deeper into it because obviously we, we, work, uh, we have the agency and there's a lot of shared philosophies. But just to say a music video specifically, I'm still going to say Facebook ads, right? Facebook slash IG, but... You know, especially Facebook ads, because the beauty of a of a Facebook ad is you can do video view ads. Right. And if we're talking about a full music video, you're now in a in a space where you have the ability to to target people based on them watching more of the video and it can keep feeding the data there. So Facebook ads, when you're talking about promoting and you want people to actually view, that's going to be way better than YouTube. Now, YouTube is good for getting those numbers up to make the, the, the surface look nice. You know, you pad your numbers, but that's how also people end up with no engagement on their music videos and they don't know how to run the YouTube videos right. Most times, all right, YouTube videos are going to be a little bit more top of the funnel when it's just front end exposure. You get people to hear it and see it almost like the radio, right? You can hear something passively on the radio if you still listen to radio or even a playlist, but it doesn't necessarily mean you engage with that song. It doesn't mean that you fully paid attention to that song. Right. You just checked out the ad, saw what was there and then clicked on to the to the next thing that you were watching where a YouTube again, I'm going to it's going to target people who are watching more of your videos. I'm going to take their data right on Facebook and then I'm going to continue to target other people on Facebook or Instagram. Right. And keep finding those people right now. Facebook, you can do those three minute videos. Instagram. You can't run those those long ads yet, but even that is still better than YouTube when we're talking about a video view because you can still get them to watch more of the video. But nothing beats Facebook when it comes to getting people to watch more of a YouTube, uh, um, more of a music video. Nothing beats Facebook right now in, in terms of that. So if you want to find more people watching more of your music video, a video view ad on Facebook, your whole music videos th there, except if you got one of them long intros, I would just cut that intro out and then get straight to the video and target people who are most likely to watch that video. All right, cool. Now, <laughs> last, this is actually the comment of the day. Unchained Garden Gnome says, nobody wants to see those damn ads. Who searches for YouTube for any ads? We want to see whatever we are looking for and it is sure not an ad, in my opinion. Okay, there's some validity to that. People don't want to see ads. They're not looking for an ad, at least. However, it's just like, hmm, it could, you could you could find a, see a girl out, right? When you're in a club or or a grocery store or whatever. 
She might not be in the mood necessarily to just talk to anybody, right? Or be looking for a guy and don't want guys to come up to her. But maybe you're really her type and she's open to you. or may, and, may, and you might have a certain approach, right, that makes her more open to you. It's the same with an ad, right? Your ad might be something that somebody really likes. And, and we had so many times that people have been like, yo, I'm so glad I got this ad. This is the best ad ever. You can see their comments in the, in the, in the comment section, right? I'm so happy I got this. This is the best ad ever. I've listened to it 30 times before. I'm just recalling so many ad comments that I've seen, right? This person should be big. I found them from an ad. I found them on IG and now I'm on YouTube. People are open to ads. People just aren't open to lazy interruptions, right? They can at least appreciate if you put in some effort into that interruption, right? But then that's also the point of targeting. If I target you with something that's your, if I target you with something that's just completely out of your demographic, right, and something that you're not interested in, of course it's going to suck. Of course it's going to be annoying. But if I target you, right, and this is like your type of music, you already are listening to music, then most likely you'll have a better reception. And you'll be, you know, you might find a new artist that you love. So, yes, an ad is an interruption. People are not looking for those interruptions, but people can be happy that they've been interrupted. It's just on you to do that part well, right? If your music's not good, if you're not targeting the right people, the video sucks, then, you know, that is what it is. So, ads work. It's too much data there. I'm not going to argue with, with you on that point. I, at that point, you should probably just look at the data. There's entire companies and businesses, agencies. It's, it's, it's billion dollars, billions, billions of dollars of business, right? Marketing is, is an industry for a reason. So it's kind of naive to say ads have no value, right? Or that people don't want them. Yes, there's some validity there just innately. But out of that, uh, yeah, I don't even want to go too much deeper than that. It's, 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 the the data is already there. Now, once again... That was an episode of Brand Man, Ask Brand Man, that is. If you want more of these, make sure you ask questions in the comment section below. The answers that you get will be predicated based off of the questions that you ask. So make sure you ask those great questions. Make sure you put some comments and add feedback because I'm always looking for a better way to, to keep this thing going and improve this thing. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.